We start off today's wrestling news and rumors video with some massive news regarding Brock Lesnar's status in WWE, and for anyone who believed that Brock Lesnar was basically banned or erased from WWE permanently after his name was tied to the shocking Vince McMahon allegations, WWE's head of creative Triple H confirmed that this is not the case, which is truly major news for Brock Lesnar fans out there who eventually want to see Brock come back. Now, Sami Zayn ended up dethroning Gunther of the Intercontinental Championship yesterday on night one of WrestleMania 40, but the original plan was apparently for Gunther to have faced off against Brock Lesnar at the Showcase of the Immortals, with Brock returning at the 2024 Royal Rumble to kickstart that feud with Gunther. But unfortunately, Brock's name being tied to Vince's allegations at the very least halted WWE's plans of bringing Brock Lesnar back, but clearly Brock is not banned or erased from the company whatsoever. The first hint or indication that Brock Lesnar isn't being put in the same category as the likes of Chris Benoit or Vince McMahon and isn't fully banned, was during Paul Heyman's 2024 Hall of Fame speech, where Heyman directly mentioned Brock Lesnar, and no doubt Heyman would have gotten approval from Triple H and other WWE executives to name drop Brock, otherwise Paul definitely would have gotten in trouble for mentioning Brock if he was in the same category as Vince who's banned and basically erased. Now during the WrestleMania 40 Night 1 post-show press conference, Triple H was essentially asked about Brock Lesnar's status in WWE and this is when Hunter revealed that Brock's not banned from WWE, saying, quote, At one point, there was a conversation with Brock about Royal Rumble quite a long time ago. Right now, Brock is at home being Brock. We'll see where that leads to from here. His status is the same as it has been before. Brock is not gone from WWE. He's just home being Brock. So it appears as though a future return for Brock Lesnar is definitely not out of the question. And let us know down in the comments section below, firstly your thoughts on Triple H revealing that Brock's not gone from WWE, and as well, would you guys be excited to see Brock Lesnar return, or has the company been just fine without him and that Hunter shouldn't bring Lesnar back? Now whether or not wrestling fans feel the Roman Reigns and Rock match against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins delivered to their expectations last night on the first day of WrestleMania 40, with some feeling the match was a bit drawn out, no doubt The Rock showed to be very impressive in the ring. Taking into account the fact that Dwayne hasn't worked a legitimate WWE match in years, and overall we felt The Rock looked great last night and still has a lot left in the tank. The Rock and Roman Reigns triumphed over Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, and now the focus has shifted to Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed Championship tonight, which we will talk about in a little bit, plus the rest of the fallout from WrestleMania 40 Night 2, but a lot of wrestling fans are wondering when we are going to see The Rock back in action in a WWE ring again, and if it will be happening in 2024. Well, one wrestling source, Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, recently reported that while The Rock wrestling at SummerSlam 2024 is unlikely, a match at the Saudi show this coming November is definitely possible, saying, quote, he is not scoring the pin in this match if it's the last match of his career. SummerSlam, I don't want to rule it out, but I know the film schedule and it would be pretty damn difficult, not impossible, but pretty damn difficult. What I think it might be is the second Saudi show of the year, the one that's usually in early November, I could see that timing-wise where that would be him and Cody and then him and Roman at WrestleMania. However, we have been told by one of our insider sources that The Rock performing at SummerSlam 2024 is a legitimate possibility, and that The Rock is not simply going to vanish from television in WWE after WrestleMania, and will be featured for at least one or two more matches in 2024, which means it's possible that Rock wrestles at both SummerSlam and the Saudi show in November, and no doubt two matches that a lot of wrestling fans want to see is The Rock vs. Cody Rhodes and The Rock vs. Roman Reigns, although one source noted that Triple H and WWE likely plan to pull off the Reigns-Rock match at WrestleMania 41 next year, so the Cody Rhodes match is more likely for the near future. WrestleMania 40 Night 2 has now come to an end, and by all means, this was an absolutely awesome and memorable show to say the least, one that kicked off with an absolute bang, with Drew McIntyre firstly dethroning Seth Rollins of the World Heavyweight Championship, only for Drew's gloating after his title win, to CM Punk to backfire royally on him, with CM Punk laying out Drew, only for Damian Priest to come out to the ring and finally cash in his Money in the Bank contract, and win the World Heavyweight Championship from Drew McIntyre, McIntyre, an absolutely amazing start to the card for sure. 
While there is so much to break down coming out of WrestleMania 40's Night 2, those breakdowns will have to wait because we need to get to the story all of you guys clicked on the video for, as it's a breaking story, as one of our sources has reported that Roman Reigns has officially retired from WWE and ended his in-ring wrestling career following his loss to Cody Rhodes tonight. For those of you who missed it, the main event match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed Championship was absolutely insane, filled with tons of surprise appearances like John Cena and The Undertaker and in the end, Cody Rhodes did indeed finish his story and finally win his first WWE Championship, putting an end to Roman's historic three and a half year run as World Champion. While a lot of wrestling fans are ecstatic for Cody Rhodes finally finishing his story and winning the Undisputed Championship, I mean it was hard to deny this was one of the greatest moments in recent WWE history. On one hand we can celebrate Cody's victory, but the other side of the coin is that we just witnessed the end of Roman Reigns' in-ring wrestling career if new backstage reports are true. Now a lot of guys heard Roman's sentiments on his A&E documentary recently, where the Tribal Chief revealed that once he loses the Undisputed Championship, he's calling it quits, and we have been told that's very much true, and Roman Reigns has officially retired following his title loss to Cody tonight. Roman Reigns reportedly had planned a long time ago to retire from WWE following the loss of his undisputed title as he felt he accomplished everything he set out to do in the business, and that could have played a factor in why Roman retained against Cody last year because WWE didn't want Roman to leave at that point, but Reigns allegedly had it written in his deal that once his title run came to an end, he was hanging up the boots and since Roman lost tonight, his career officially ends. And what's really noteworthy about Roman's retirement tonight is that the dream match with The Rock won't be happening anymore. And one source mentioned that WWE instead planned to have The Rock feud with Cody for the undisputed title moving forward. Roman Reigns is apparently no longer in the picture at this point. We have been told that the original plan was for The Rock to have dethroned Roman Reigns of the Undisputed title at WrestleMania 40 so that the dream match between Reigns and Rock could happen, and then for Cody to dethrone Rock of the title, but because of all the fan backlash of The Rock taking Cody's spot, WWE pivoted and essentially cancelled the match between Reigns and Rock to have Cody win the title from Roman, which results in Roman Reigns retiring, and then the focus shifting to Cody Rhodes versus The Rock, likely for SummerSlam, so all in all, it appears as though Roman has stuck to his word and has quietly retired following his loss to Cody tonight at WrestleMania 40 Night 2. With all of this said, let us know your thoughts on WrestleMania 40 Night 2 as a whole, Cody Rhodes dethroning Roman Reigns of the Undisputed Championship in the main event, and the breaking backstage reports that Roman Reigns has officially retired and hung up the boots from WWE following his loss tonight and likely plans to move on to Hollywood, partly because of his underlying health issues, let us know down in the comments section below.